Hello everyone, welcome to Crotoflick. My name is Chad Bradle and today I'm going to show you how to build a cheap yet yeah, easy to build light panel. It'll be around six dollars for the main components, um, how you plan to mount it, and batteries will kind of be like extra expenses. But essentially it'll be about six bucks for uh, what you'll need to build this. So let's get this thing started, shall we? First thing you'll need is three of these lights from the Dollar Tree. Uh, just to show you what they're capable of. It has three lights built in. One is a beam. Ooh, lens flares. The other, which is uh, kind of cool, could almost act as a prop, is the flashes, red and blue. But the one we're uh, curious about is well, maybe the beam, uh, but mainly, the next one, which is four LEDs behind this little panel here. Now you could leave this panel on, and but it might create like kind of like these weird lines um, when you go to project on a subject. So this essentially just kind of pops right off. And no, it doesn't come with batteries. I already had the batteries in it. Mm, clever, right? But Yep, essentially uh, I just pop that right off. Um, when I go to put this together, I'm just gonna put it in as is, but I'll eventually probably put some hot glue right in the corners so, uh, just to keep this uh, in there because this can actually come out. Next, you'll need some Velcro. I just got these sticky back Velcro squares at Big Lots. It was two bucks, so Velcro. And for the final component, you'll need a Tupperware container. I also got this uh, at the dollar store. I chose one that would lock and for sealing weatherproofing purposes. And because it has a nice clear see-through lid, which will be shining through. And it's like just the right size. Alrighty, so I got my uh, pieces laid out. Got my Tupperware, the cap, my three lights that I already took off the uh, plastic covers, and my Velcro squares. So essentially, I'm just going to start with uh, one of them. Now this is the pattern I'm going to lay them in. That way I can uh, kind of spread out my light a little more rather than having it all one-sided. That's just uh, how I choose to do it. You can do it any way you want. I guess theoretically, since they're Velcroed in, you can flip it probably and arrange it any way you wish to. All right, there. Now I got a little light panel inside of a box, inside of a Tupperware container. Just like that. Pretty cool. Ooh. Well, I hope you like the build. Uh, currently, uh, this little light panel I built here is the only thing on 
in my house. So that is the only thing that is illuminating my face right now. Just so you can see, uh, this is holding it at arm's length away from my body. And I am at 1250 ISO, just so you know, uh, with an f-stop of 3.5. Yeah. But, I'd say for six bucks, it does a pretty good job. It's portable, it's sealed. Um, the only downside, as you can kind of see in the back behind me, is those little shadows. And that's because of the, the Tupperware I chose out has like this uh, increased height in the lid and this line is uh, casting a shadow. So I might end up trying to find uh, maybe a different Tupperware set um, without that and just, just perfectly flat. Uh, uh, plus side to this being that it's sealable is that you'll be able to put different types of um, gels or whatever you want paper and uh, get like a different uh, color tone from the light uh, so it'll cast through but I'd say for six bucks it's pretty handy and something I'll probably end up doing is actually attaching a uh, little hot shoe adapter so I can mount this to a tripod or my camera I actually have a DIY for one of those I'll uh, put it right here or here or somewhere in this area and uh, you can check that out and attach it to yours if you wish so please feel free to like subscribe comment below and I will catch you next time thanks for watching see ya yeah.